Hi, welcome to the next session of Number System. Teaching at Zion Education, I found that one of the most interesting topics, unit digit, is where the students face a lot of problems. In various books, a lot of methods are given and it is like this that for every different type of a question, there is a different formula. What I have done for you is, I will be giving you only one method which is applicable in any possible question of finding unit digit and you will be able to do that in a couple of seconds. So let's see what is that. Here we go. Say, we have a question that is 2 to 2 to the power 2 to 2 and we want to find out its unit digit. Let's understand one thing first that 2 to 2 to the power 2 to 2 is basically a product. That is product of 2 to 2 with itself 222 times. So, this is what the question is. Now, unit digit of a product is dependent on product of unit digit of multiplicands. I repeat, unit digit of a product is dependent on product of unit digit of multiplicands. So, this question is as good as 2 this 2 into 2 this 2 and so on 222 times. Now this is as good as 2 to the power 2 to 2. What my method is, is divide the power by 4 and take the remainder. So this question gets converted to 2 to the power 2 which is very simple for all of us is 4. Hence, the unit digit of this expression is 4 and therefore the answer. Let's take a couple of questions more to understand the question and be comfortable with it. Say for example, question is 123 to the power 45. Now this question first of all is 3 to the power 45 for us. Now this is 3 to the power 45 divided by 4. Let's take the remainder 1 which is 3 and that's the answer. Let's go to slightly more difficult questions. Say for example 32 to the power 33 to the power 34. Now this question first of all is 2 to the power 33 to the power 34. Now this is the power here and not just this. But this power begins here at 33. So what we'll do is we'll divide 33 by 4 and let's find out the remainder. That's simple. 1. 1 to the power 34 is 1. Hence 2 to the power 1. Hence 2. And that's the answer. Let's take one more. 32 to the power, let's take 35 to the power 37. Now this question is as good as 2 to the power 35 to the power 37. This is the power here which starts at 35. Let's divide 35 by 4. The remainder is no doubt 3. But I am calling it minus 1. Minus 1. Why is minus 1? Remainder 3 means you are saying surplus of 3. Remainder minus 1 means I am saying deficit of 1. I think that's clear to all of you. That's one the same thing. Now, minus 1 to the power 37. That is even or odd? Odd. So, minus 1 to the power 37 is minus 1. So, 2 to the power minus 1. Which is back again 2 to the power 3. Why 3? Since instead of 3, we are using minus 1. Therefore, instead of minus 1, we can use 3. Which is 8. And the answer. Let's go to more advanced question on this topic. Say, question is 32 to the power 34 to the power 36. So this question is as good as 2 to the power 34 to the power 36. Now, this is a power which begins at 34. Divide 34 by 4, what is the remainder? That is 2. And this is 2 to the power 36. Can I say, you take any power of 2 greater than 1, that will always be a multiple of 4. So can I say this circled part or the power is for sure divisible by 4? Hence, the remainder will be 0. Now, mind it guys, 
zero remainder will take four instead of that. Instead of one, we have been taking taking one example. This question. Instead of two, we will take two. Instead of three, we will take three. And instead of zero, we will take four. So this question is as good as two to the power four, which is sixteen. Hence six. And therefore the answer. Let's go to more advanced question. Say we have forty-seven to the power forty-eight to the power forty-nine, and so on. The power keeps going. This question is as good as seven to the power forty-eight to the power forty-nine, and so on. Now this is this entire stuff is the power. I can't close the circle because I don't know how big it is. But then this begins at 48, which, when divided by 48, leaves the remainder zero. And instead of zero, what will we take? Four. Four. To the power anything. Can I say when divided by four will leave the remainder zero? And therefore back again four. And seven to the power four is seven square square, which is 49 square, which is two four zero one. Hence one. Let's go further a step. Let's say question is three to the power forty-seven plus two to the power forty-seven, and we want unit digit of this expression. Now this this is as good as three to the power divide the power by four. I got the remainder that three plus this is as good as two to the power divide by the power by four. Take the remainder three. Now this is twenty-seven, so seven, and this is eight, so eight. So sum total 15. Therefore, the unit digit is 5. Let's move on to more trickier questions. Say, for example, 2 to the power 47 minus 2 to the power 47. That's the question. Now, 3 to the power 47. From the past question, previous question, two to the power three and two to the power forty-seven is two to the power three. Now this ends with unit digit seven, while this ends with unit digit eight. So now, what will be the unit digit of the difference? What will be the unit digit of the difference? Now basically, I can put it this way that this is a number which ends with seven. For example, for example, two ninety-seven. This is a number which ends with eight. For example. 148. When we subtract, how do we go about subtraction? We have always been taught we'll always subtract smaller number from the larger number and not not vice versa. So we'll not say 7 minus 8 minus 1, leaving minus 1 is the answer. Rather, there is something on the left of 7. We know that. So then we'll borrow. This will be 17. 17 minus 8, 9, and that's what the answer will be. Another me method here itself. Another method here itself. Let's say you end up saying minus one, minus one. Now tens complement of minus one is back again nine. The answer is nine. That's all. Uh, in order to encapsulate everything, I put it this way: A B C D is a four-digit number or whatever digit number of which power is E F G H. That is as good as D to the power E F E F G H. Divide the power by four and take the remainder, which is as good as dividing the last two digits by four and taking the remainder. Now we'll be left with what? D to the power zero or one or two or three. Just keep this in your mind that zero will be treated as four, and that's it. And this will be enough for you to find out the unit digit of whatever question. That's it for today. In the next session, we'll be taking remainder. I found while teaching at Zion Education that people are very comfort comfortable understanding this basic concept. It hardly takes 10 to 20 minutes to master it. Once mastered, you will be able to find out unit digit of any expression, be it a cat question or a rat question. Thank you very much.